Hi, welcome to our first video on Ed Admin. I am on the Ed Admin portal page, and the first thing we want to do is enter our user ID and our password. And if you want to get to this page, we have a shortcut. If you go to your staff drive, and we have a folder called Ed Admin, and inside this folder is a shortcut to the staff portal. Once you click on that, it should take you to this page, and here you would need to enter your user ID and your password. If you don't know your password, you can click on change password, and an email will be sent to you to reset your password. I'm going to log in. So we have our interface for Ed Admin, and today we're going to concentrate on assessment and how to enter marks. So if we look at the top, we're going to go to assessment premium. So you can double click on that. You'll notice all the classes that the teacher teaches comes up. The white ones are the one that you teach and the yellow ones are the ones that are in your department. As a subject head, you'll be able to also view all the teachers classes that are under you. So we're going to go to the top. If you click on this drop down menu, we have assessment, co-curricular, boarding, but we're going to focus on the first one assessment in this video. And then if you go to the next drop down menu, you'll notice the classes or the grades that you teach are listed. And we're going to choose grade 12. So if you choose grade 12, it will refresh. And the two in white are the two grade 12 classes that the teacher teaches. The rest would be the classes that are under your care. So we're going to choose MLIT, that's Maths Literacy, and you'll notice MJ will be the teacher's abbreviations, and below that is grade 12. So if we click on that, we choose the class, and when we come here, we have another menu. You may not be seeing what I'm seeing in the bottom, but I want you to click on the select view, all these dots, and the one we want to choose is grade mark book. And if we go to grade mark book, the weightings is according to sand. If they are not right, we can change that. And for your teachers to enter a mark, you'll notice we have our first student come up, Daniel. So the first assessment can be entered. Let's assume that he gets out of 50, he gets 25. And for the second one, he gets 25. And he also gets 25 for the third one. Once you finish enter the marks, you will click on save. And you'll notice that the test or the first assessment was the 25 weighting 7.5 because it carries 15%. So it's giving you the weighting on the top 15, 15, and the test carries 70%. Daniel's overall mark is 50%. And this 12 is the weighting towards the entire SBA. And if you made a mistake, let's assume we want to change Daniel's mark. We can go back, take the 25 out, put on 50, and you click Save. And you will have the mark changed to 57.5%. So if we scroll down, and once you, you, you finish entering all the marks, it will give you the average for your class, for your grade, ETC. Now we're going to move on. The second thing a teacher would not need to do is lesson, registra regi lesson registration. So we go to the same select view. We go attendance by subject. And to mark the students present in that specific class, you'll notice we can go to the dates and today is actually, if I remember the date, it's 18th. And you'll see 18th has been selected for us in green. So if you go to 18th and you click on the actual number, you'll notice everyone is marked present for that lesson. If you want to mark someone absent, 
go to the tick and you can carry on ticking and you see the first one it changes to L which means L late with no reason and you can carry on and it, it gives you a message what each abbreviation stands for but if you want absent you can go to A and when you finish you can click save I'm going to go back take take the A out bring it back to present and you can click save so that's how we would mark the register if you click on the number again you'll notice it will clear the register and you can move to different dates by using your arrow and it'll take you to different dates the next thing we're going to look at is I want to clear that before I leave and I'm going to clear that save so we go back to select view so we've done grade mark book we've done attendance we now go to subject summary and if we go to subject summary it allows us to enter the effort symbol for the first term 57.5 percent it shows the mark and then you will select three and you will click save and we have covered subject summary we also have overall subject result summary and we're not going to get a lot of data on this one because we haven't entered a lot of marks so we will come to that a little later returning to the grade mark book I have given Daniel mark so I want to take that out so to change something we can go back backspace clear the system and save and I've cleared Daniel's marks thank you and that's all for this video when you log in for the first time you may get a license agreement page scroll to the bottom and accept that and then you'll be able to return right on the top you have a logout so you can log out using that also a very handy button that I want to teach you is control F if you're looking for a class you can use control F and then you can type in if I'm looking for M let's and then you can search as you can see that my search criteria can change to F M oh sorry I want to look for a cat class and it will pick out the relevant cat using a control F so in searching that can be used another key I want to teach you is control minus and if we use control minus it makes the GUI smaller and if you want to make the GUI bigger we will use control plus so that was the assessment premium that we are dealing with for today so remember once again if we click on assessment premium and you can choose assessment from there and then you can choose the relevant classes from there and if you want to see all your classes you can go to my classes and all your classes are listed and if you want to find a specific class remember we used a control F and then from there we can type in F if I'm gonna go cat and it highlights all my cat classes thank you I hope this video was useful so now I'm going to log out